Hello YouTube. In this video I wanted to explain how I got my uh, Z-Ax, my Z-Axis supports um, level. And what I'm talking about is uh, basically the white supports. I wanted to make sure that they're both um, the same height as much as possible. And uh, I think I came up with some pretty good I pretty good ways of doing it. Um, anyways, I'll just get right into it. So kind of the first thing I did was uh, just bring up the support and um, I used some Velcro and uh, just Velcroed it on to, um, to hold it up. Then next uh, I went down to my couplers and I uh, completely removed the screws out of both sides there and just brought the threaded rod up through the top there and so I completely removed the threaded rod on both sides and um, completely removed the couplers I just backed off the screws and took off this coupler and so the whole thing would be supported at this point with the velcro just wrapped around the top there um, so the next thing I wanted to focus in on was getting these couplers identical in height and position and let me show you something about these stepper motors if you look this is a pretty good example of kind of what's going on the stepper motor has a beveled edge and you can see that right here I have it facing towards the top and the coupler has two screws on it and in this case the um, this particular type of I'm gonna call it a coupler it's not really a coupler is slid back um, and if I were to loosen these screws I could slide it up or back now so you kinda kinda see how that's set up the bottom is exactly all these stepper motors are pretty much the same um, so my challenge was what I did is I rotated the stepper motor till the um, flat portion was facing forward then I put um, the one set screw right on and uh, the second set screw ahead nine degrees and facing towards the center then I took um, a threaded rod let me back out a little bit a small threaded rod and uh, dropped it in there and I'll show you on the top one again kinda give you an idea because you can't really see inside that coupler what goes on there so essentially it would be like if I were to put this up here and it's bigger than the center shaft and then slide this all the way up to here I could feel when it bottoms out there and that would make that perfectly flush so essentially that's what I did at the bottom coupler. Um, I dropped the small threaded rod in and here I'll back out so I can and brought the coupler up until it bottomed out on the threaded rod. Then I tightened this front screw, which was in line with the uh, flat side, and then tightened the side screw. That set the bottom coupler height perfectly. And I did that on both sides. So now you can picture the um, the flats are facing forward got a set screw here and a set screw here and they're both the same height so next I, I took my allen wrench and stuck it in to the um, flat side screw and then I rotated it until it came perfectly aligned like that and I did that on both sides now what that did for me was set my stepper motors in identical well fairly identical symmetrical um, positions on both sides uh, and got me a consistent um, working spot then um, what I did was I was wanting to at this point I wanted to balance uh, my supports to make them the same so I needed something that has the exact same height that I could prop up on both sides and rest on there and the only thing I could find around the house is chopsticks so here's I took a chopstick and I just placed it right there and it just goes in the bottom of the support there and I did that identically on the other side and then I undid my velcro str strap and I lowered them onto this chopsticks and what that did for me is got the exact same height from the base to the bottom of the support on both sides so now I know my my uh, supports are perfectly level then what I did is I dropped my um, I don't know what this is called my threaded rod uh, down 
uh, through there and it, it fell very smoothly on both sides because there's no resistance and so I knew that there was no binding going on up here and then it dropped down into the coupler so then my next challenge was how do I pull those um, threaded rods have them drop in the same distance now I want to show you something on these uh, uh, couplers that's kind of important if you come in here and look see they got little slots in them they're kind of semi flexible they're not a solid piece of aluminum so I just wanted the um sorry about that I just wanted the uh, thread to come down to the basically just to the first slot that's kind of how the bottom is it just goes up to the first slot pretty much and I just wanted the top rod to come down to the first slot there so I just kind of um, eyeballed it in and worked it out and when I was doing that oops hold okay, on pick it up again I used this uh, rod here and I'd kind of get an idea of how far it needed to come up or go down and then I did that kind of on this it was that far and then I just sink it in anyways I got the rod seated down to the first um, slot there and then tightened down my my Allen wrench screws and then what I did is I, I kind of cheated for the second one because I just looked at the top and it saw about where it was just barely below the surface so you can just use your finger there and kind of feel how far down it is and so after doing that it, I just did that the same way on this side I just went dropped it down until it felt roughly the same on the top and then tightened the allen wrench screws on there and so that's I think that brings us up to where we are um, and the, the, that's how I got my uh, supports level there and it really seems to help out I haven't tried it out yet I still got my chopsticks down there and everything but uh, that seems to work really well for getting it leveled it'd be nice somebody could probably come up with something or build something that would be like a natural gauge to make all this a lot easier or even like another cool idea would be to I should do that Build, make a little spacer that you could drop in there that would be just small and kind of float around then you could just drop that to the correct height I think that's kind of a good idea and uh, anyhow hope this video helps somebody out out there if you like it give me a thumbs up and if you subscribe you'll see more videos as they come out thank you for watching